Hey guys and welcome on into today's video where we are going to be showing you how to stop Google from tracking your voice and your audio activity. So what you're going to want to do is go to your search engine. I'm at google.com and type in Google my activity. Once you type that in, it's going to take you over to your search results. The top result should be welcome to my activity from Google. I'll also link that page down in the video description so you can click it through those means as well. Once you click on that, it's going to take you over to the Google My Activity page. The next thing that you're going to want to find is the activity controls. For me, that's over here on the left hand side of the screen. But if it's not there for you, you can also find it in this drop down menu here in the upper right hand corner. You see these three little horizontal dots. Click on that and it'll open up this menu here. There should be an activity controls there as well. So once you click on that, it's going to take you over to the activity controls page scroll down until you find the voice and audio activity and we want to make it so that google no longer stores this particular data about us so right now they are tracking this activity you can see that as indicated by this little switch being blue so what you're going to want to do is go over to this blue switch click on it it's going to take you to this next page here and make sure you click pause if you click cancel nothing's going to change so you click pause and that's going to make it so that Google no longer saves your voice and audio activity. If you want to see exactly what Google has been saving uh, from all of your voice and audio activity, this is going to be mostly things if you uh, do a voice search on your smartphone device or on your Google Home device. Um, but if you want to see that particular activity, you just go down in this bottom left hand corner and click the manage activity option. And that's going to take you back to that original page that we were on. It doesn't have any saved activity for me, but it'll give you options if you want to delete your history with uh, that particular data. So that's going to pretty much wrap up this video, guys. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comment section. And we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.